each race is always really hard because it's not not always the parkour, it's like how it's raced. So if you go to a race that's like pan flat, just because it's flat doesn't mean it'll be easy because you're averaging like 50k an hour with 40 mile an hour crosswinds and stuff and it's just carnage. So I'm Harrison Wood, I'm 18 years old and I'm a cyclist. Within the UK I'm like a second category licence, so you've got uh, first, second, third, fourth and elite. Um, but as a junior, it's, it's actually impossible to get an elite license. Um, you have to wait until you go uh, under 23. So if I pick up enough points, I can get my elite license, but it's a lot of points to get. As a first year junior, my sort of first bout of racing abroad and stuff. And so last year I won my first road race of the year, uh, which was the Primavera, which is run by the local Mid Devon. Uh, so I won that in uh, the category three and four. Uh, and then later on in the year, I won my uh, second race, which was Tour of the Mill Breeze, which is like a time trial in the morning, road race in the afternoon. And so I won that, so that was quite, that was sort of like my first big achievement within cycling. Uh, but this year it's sort of grown again, and so that I raced over in the Tour of Poland, the Junior Tour of Poland. And on one stage I came fifth, and that's ranked like a UCI basically, which is like the highest level you can get for, for junior cyclists in the world. Um, and then just recently in the Junior Tour of Wales, which is sort of like UK's biggest race. Okay, I won the, the King of the Mountains competition over the uh, four days it was. But on the first day I had a puncture and a mechanical, so that sort of ruined my chances of winning the overall. So I had to change my focus. And that was something that I, I found quite difficult was that I wanted to win it, but obviously there was, there was no chance of me winning it. So now I had to turn my focus to go away from the race thinking, oh, I've done well there. So most sort of like junior races are between like 100 and 140k, so like 50 to 70, 80 miles long. You're racing up climbs in the Basque Country that are like 7 or 8k long, at like 10%, so it's, it's like the equivalent of like a Babacan Road, 10 times longer nearly. The ideal aim is to, is to be a professional within the next sort of few years turn pro. So next year I'm riding in France for a, for a DM1 team, which is like the top level. Um, and so that'll be a, a big step up, but with like the help of the local base cycles and you know uh, smaller companies who are helping me out with my funding and stuff, it will really help me sort of progress up through the ranks. Hashtag ride the bait is like a hashtag that uh, people use on social media stuff, and it's sort of linked with the base cycle shop that we're in now <laughs> um, to do with it, and that's sort of you know run by Jez and Lisa. Um, and they go out every Saturday morning at like around 8 o'clock, uh, depending on what time Jez is around it. Uh, <laughs> and then they go out, you know, do a longer ride, shorter ride, all around Torbay area, Exeter way, up onto the moors, out towards Brixham and stuff like that. And that's something that my, my mum and my mum goes on as well, so it's sort of almost like a family affair as well with the shops, so that's really nice. I like going up into the to the moors from like the coast. So I like looping around sort of like the Ilsham Marine area and like Meadfoot Beach and that. You've got the coast and down by Meadfoot and your Broad Sands Beach and then you've also got the moors so close it's like you know you've got two two different parallels almost in a different different sense of it that you can go to the coast and be by the sea and ride your bike along the coast path so you can go up onto the moors and do some hard hills and stuff like that and I think but you know, there's history behind the beaches you go to and all that sort of stuff. So I find that, that actually quite inspiring, definitely.